now what kind of sequential circuits do we already know of so two circuits uh, essentially uh, latches and flip flops hmm? latches are level sensitive flip flops are edge triggered uh just to differentiate between the latches and the flip flops let us look at this timing diagram uh, the top signal is clock hmm? data toggled when did data toggle data toggled when the clock was high since data toggled then what happened when data toggled latch and the clock was high latch immediately reflected transition of data onto the output flip flop on the other hand was edge triggered the rising edge of the clock had already passed so this data this toggling of data was not recorded by the latch now data toggled again now since at this point of time clock was low even the latch was opaque it was not transparent yet when clock went high both flop and the latch gave the right output right output means they they reflected d on q are you able to see this difference the key difference between a latch and a flop how level sensitive and edge triggered uh, sequential elements are different so can you please elaborate on this transparent and opaque okay so when i use the term transparent i mean to say that whatever comes on d it will be uh, transmitted on q and opaque means it is not it will not be transmitted is it clear so uh, so whatever appears on d will anyway be transmitted to q uh, be it, uh, be it no, on be it on a clock edge so only on the clock edge maybe yes yeah. so only on the clock edge the flip flop is transparent you realize this yes sir whereas the latch is transparent through the entire clock high period okay okay sir. that is the difference yes raghav so i mean if the clock if it is uh, at the positive edge of the clock so will the clock transition on the clock slew will determine like how effectively how what for effective time my the flip flop will be on for like if my for example slew is more so will i say that uh, ki uh, my flip flop is transparent for much greater time so flip flop will Uh, will transmit whatever is there on the rising edge. Uh, we will just now in a little while see that to get a correct output on the flip flop, you will have to ensure that data is stable for some time before the clock arrives. That is called as the setup time. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will ensure that there is no uncertainty at the output, Raghav. okay through okay. through the fin timing constraints because otherwise you're absolutely right if the clock slew is very bad or something like that is there then how will we ensure what data is coming at the output so that is where we have two timings setup and hold timings associated with the flop or a latch or anything like that hmm so okay so is it something like designers tend to prefer flip flops over latches तो बारा से बोलो सर डिजाइनर्स इन जनरल प्रेफर फ्लिप फ्लॉप ओवर लैचेस व्हाई सो आई सर इट्स जस्ट अ क्वेश्चन सो आई हैव नॉट सीन लैचेस मेनी एट मेनी प्लेसेस इवन इन एफपीजीएस देयर आर वेरी फ्यू लैचेस एंड मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स ओनली या सी व्हाट हैपेंस इज दैट ये अभी जो हम स्पूरियस ट्रांजिशंस की बात कर रहे थे ना मधुर यस सर नाउ लेट अस से दिस this intermediate d going high and low was a spurious transition it was see it went high then went low so it was a glitch what did the latch do 
last transmitted the glitch to the other side. So all the signals on the other side also started to toggle. Hmm? So lots of power got wasted. Yes, sir. In a flop, all that did not happen. In a flop, I said, okay, now this one clock period is a time for this combinational circuit to evaluate. Let it evaluate completely. Only after it has evaluated, I will sample it. So the intermediate transitions are no longer bothersome for the subsequent part of the circuit. Okay. Therefore, circuits are preferred at many places. Okay, sir. And sir, uh, what about timing? Is timing also somehow better for flip-flop and in static timing analysis, we create problems whenever we use latches? Is it something? Mm. So let us wait for the next lecture. We will see what is the timing overhead of flop and latch. Okay, sir. I will cover that. Okay, sir. That's a very relevant question, but we are anyway going to cover that in the next class. Let us just go step by step. Hmm? Yes, sir. Rajneesh? Uh, sir, uh, in the timing diagram drawn below, sir. Sir, uh, when is this uh, latch is transparent and opaque, sir? According mm. to this. Yeah, you tell me. Sir, uh, um, according to me, when the clock is zero, uh, and D is zero, then and when then Q is become zero, then here the latch must be opaque. And when the clock is one and this Q is one, then it must be transparent, sir. Because uh, uh, according to me, sir, uh, opaque, oh, opaque is just reverse of transparent. So when the latch is off, uh, then whatever is on Q must be like opaque one, sir. So if you, if you look at it, uh... You yes, will realize there is no dependence on the value on D. For the yes, latch sir. To be opaque or transparent. Yeah, I sir, uh, that the latch must be off, sir. The Q must be independent of Q. When? In, for opaque. Ah, so when is it opaque? Uh, when, uh, depending upon the clock, uh, when, uh, when, when the latch is either on or off. Uh, when the clock is low, then this yes, particular sir. latch is opaque. Okay, because sir. whatever is the value of D, it is not coming on Q. Okay, sir. In the transparent one, D will reflect on Q. Yes. When the clock was one, then latch is transparent. So whatever D was there, it reflected on Q. Whether D was zero, whether D was one, whatever it was, it reflected on Q. So transparent and opaque of the latch is dependent on the clock level. That is why latch is called as level sensitive. Yes, sir. Flip-flop is instead called as it's triggered because whatever we see on the clock rising edge or falling edge, whatever edge triggered you are, yes. uh, that is what will be sampled and that is what will be used. Whatever happens intermediately, we will ignore that. We will not use that. Yes, fine. Okay. Sir? Yes, Gandhi. But sir, if we use the latch instead of a flip-flop, sir, then uh, won't it be that I will have only the negative edge for the evaluation for the block of combination circuit? Uh, if we use negative edge of the clock for the flip-flop, then the next uh, sampling of data will also happen at the next negative edge. Uh, yes, but sir, I can do the evaluation over the complete time period of the clock. Yes, because uh, it will then be negative edge to negative edge. So I will still have the entire time period with me. Yes. Uh, in the latch, it won't be. Uh, half time period will be available. Mm, you will see. Latch has some other benefits. There are benefits. <laughs> Otherwise, I would not be telling you about it, no? Yes. Hmm? Yeah. 